Okay, what I'm gonna help you do today is to get your bike perfectly spotlessly clean with stuff that you already have at home. So we're not gonna use any bike stands, we're not gonna use any special brushes or chain cleaning tools. What I've got is a long bristle brush. You can buy these at the shops about 30 kwacha or $3. They come with these, you don't need this. Uh, normal dishwashing liquid. Uh, a nice thick bristled, short bristled brush that we'll use only for the chain and a toothbrush um, right at the end just to get into all those bits that we missed. Just your old toothbrush that you throw away. The reason I use this is long thin bristles that'll get in uh, inside all the little nooks and crannies and also importantly soft bristles that are not going to scratch anything. First step is to just give the whole bike a good general scrub with the long bristle brush. I'm not going to touch the chain or the cassette at all while I'm doing this so that this brush stays grease free. Something I'm going to do while I've got the long bristle brush is get right in and around the fork seals to get any dirt off there. Any dirt that you leave around the edges of the fork seal is going to get pushed in the next time the fork compresses. Right, so that's the first step. I've literally just scrubbed every inch of the bike. Uh, tried to get in and around everywhere as much as I can, except for the chain and cassette. Out of habit, I always start with the grips. Uh, you just really want to make sure you get all the soap out of the grips. Otherwise, uh, what's going to happen is, as soon as your hands get sweaty, uh, that'll mix with the soap and your grips will get all slippery. Step two, I'm going to use my short thick bristle brush to get the drivetrain nice and clean. So I'm just going to spin the chain around and soap it the whole way around like exactly the way you put your chain move on. And then just get a nice bit of soap all over the cassette. Being pretty generous here with the soap. Make sure your brush is wet. And then for me the first step, not holding the cranks, just going to scrub, letting the scrubbing motion uh, push the cassette around. And I'm, I'm just going to spin the pedals and change gear to get the chain onto a different spot so we can get the whole cassette clean. And then scrubbing on the side of the chain. Uh, any grease is going to attract grit, it's going to make your power transfer less efficient, it's going to make your shifting less efficient and it's going to make the ride in general feel not so great. Second step, um, I'm just going to push the chain down with the brush like this and spin. Also just going to scrub the side of the chain ring uh, just to get any grease off of there. Okay, now I'm going to spray it off. You really want to be thorough when you rinse the chain and cassette out because any soap that you leave in there is going to stop your chain loop from adhering properly to the chain and then your chain's going to get dry really quickly when you ride it next. There, now you can see a nice bright shiny silver chain. That'll have your bike looking clean and functioning relatively clean. Um, if this is just a sort of normal wash then you can stop there but I'm just going to flip the bike over and as normally happens you think you've cleaned the bike you flip it over and then you realize there's still a whole bunch of mud in and around here so next step is literally just flip it over and give it another little scrub. Really get in and around your derailleur here. It's kind of hard to get under it like this normally. I'm going to flip the bike back over before I rinse it off uh, because quite a lot of frames are designed such that water drains out the bottom and can't get in the top so if you spray it while it's upside down you'll get quite a lot of water inside the frame. So now step four, uh, basically just going to grab the toothbrush, get into all those little nooks and crannies that you couldn't get into with the bigger brushes. You might think this part is pedantic, but uh, 
any dirt that you leave in and around the linkage is going to start working its way into those bearings and then they're not going to last as long and if like us you live in Zambia that means your bearing starts to shake and it's weeks or even months before you can actually get a new one. Most bikes have a drain hole somewhere down at the bottom of the frame here. This one's is inside here. Poke a little Allen key or something in there just to make sure that it's not blocked. Uh, those holes do sometimes get blocked, they're pretty small. And when that happens, you sometimes end up with a frame full of water. And then you're carrying around an extra kilo that you don't need to be. Now we're just going to put the bike aside and wait for it to drip dry. Uh, any lube that you put on while the bike is wet isn't going to sit properly. So let the bike dry completely for a couple of hours before you go and loop the chain or anything like that. Right, on bike done. 